So let me show you how to go live to Facebook with Ecamm. If you're tracking along with me, we've already done a video on multi-streaming where we showed you the different destinations and how you can go out to multiple places at once. I wanna keep this very specific. We want to go to Facebook alone, and this is how we're going to do it. So uh, the first thing we need to do, make sure that on your screen here, if you haven't got new down in the corner, then it's because you haven't got stream turned on. I can see people are gonna get caught out with this if you've been record only, and then you, you know, where's that corner gone? You just need to make sure stream is turned on at the top and then when you come to the bottom right you hit new and um, what will happen is if you've previously gone live to different channels platforms it'll just keep what you did last time around so you'll probably already have some put in here and you need to just delete off the ones you don't want to go to but we're going to go to Facebook and so I've got my personal profile I've got a business page and I've got groups. And actually I want to add a different destination in because we're gonna go into my test group right now and uh, I want you to see it on my screen when it comes up in Facebook and uh, we're in a nice safe little space that no one's gonna spot us. So I'm gonna add a destination, Facebook. And so it starts with the account and so making sure that's me and I want to go to a group. And then it's going to bring all these groups in and I'm looking for one called test group. There it is. And I can add that in and now it's added it as a destination. So then let's put a title. Going live for the first time. So we put in here a title and a description. What I want you to see is that that title isn't going to get seen unless we schedule this. So if I go live, I can either hit go live now and it will go straight away or we can schedule it and uh, I can put in the date and the time. I can add an image and I schedule it. Now, before we go any further, let's just have a talk about this. Firstly, destinations anyway. Should you be going to a page? Should you be going to a group? I know we're just doing a quick mock-up here in a, in a small hidden group, but this is a question again that comes up a lot or a conversation. Should I go to my page? Should I go in a group? It really depends on the purpose of why you're going live. If this is you trying to just get content out, get seen as an authority, then it ought really to be happening on your page because you can boost it out, other people can find it, they can share it out. If it's in a private group and somebody really likes this video, you know, the live stream and they want to share it with their friends, they can't unless they're also members of a group. There's an incentive to get people to join your group if you know that, hey, come and join my group. We go live here every week with this awesome content. That's building up the group inside and that is more that sort of nurturing level, supporting the group that you've got, maybe doing weekly support calls, Q&A calls, things like that. But if this is more like a, a mini um, webinar, this is you teaching, this is you putting yourself out there and it really wants to go on your page and I definitely wouldn't be doing it on your personal profile I would you know set up a page use a page for this and then you can be promoting it as well and also running ads from this if people have watched so much of that video you can retarget them with ads there's a lot of benefits for going live on Facebook one thing that I've just recently noticed is that you can no longer uh, schedule a live into a group from your business page. So my Adrian Soulsby training, I should be able to go live into one of my groups that's associated with it. Uh, I'm seeing messages coming up on Ecamm saying that Facebook no longer lets you go from your business page to a group. So if you want to schedule a live into one of your groups, do it as your personal profile into the group. It'll come up the same. Nobody's really gonna notice the difference, but it's just wanting you to know that. And then, Second kind of question really, should you just go live now or should you schedule it? We did mention this in that previous video when we were talking about multi-streaming. I think, you know, to go live now and expect somebody to come on, it is quite a tall order really, unless it's that regular time and you've already said to them, hey, I'll be live at five, but you haven't scheduled it, then at five you just go live. I guess that's a way of doing it. If it's quite impromptu and just a, a quick thing, oh, I ought to go live and talk about this because it's just happening, then again, that might be a time to go live on your own. But I would recommend that you used to schedule in your lives, plan it, schedule it ahead. You can then uh, tell people, hey, I'm going live at Friday at five o'clock, come and join me. You can get a link, you can send it out in emails. That really is the better way to go. So why don't we just do this and actually I can schedule this now. I'm going to put one in here and I'm going to schedule it for five minutes time. Um, is that today's date? Yes, it is. I haven't got a thumbnail handy to do. But uh, so I'm going to schedule this now. 
into this group so that you can see what happens. If I hit go live now, it'll just count me down and we're live. But now it's scheduled, it pops up in here and what you'll see is you've got this upcoming list and if you've got several uh, lives scheduled, they'll list them in here. But I can click on this now, I can click on here and it says copy the event URL. So this one I'm saying to you, you want to share your link out to people, that would be the link that you would do. Pop it in an email, come and join me live. And if I type this in here now and just paste in what I've just done there, you'll see that it goes straight into this and um, it's ready for my live. Going live for the first time today at 1.35. And it's telling me on here that I'm three minutes and 10 seconds out. Um, this is because I'm logged in as me, that it's seeing it. It's not kind of telling me to, it knows it's me. It's saying about editing on here. Now, what I can do if I want, uh, I don't really recommend this, but I can actually go live straight away if I want. And uh, I can cut in early. So a couple of minutes ahead of what I've scheduled, I could actually go live. I'm going to do that now just for the sake of this. So when I hit go live, it's given me a little warning or a, a note there just to say, do I want to go live early? It's scheduled for 1.35. I can go live now two minutes early. Yes, let's do it. Let's go live now. And our broadcast is up. And so over here in a second, if I just refresh this, this is us in the group and we are now live. And again, we can see this delay. It'd be interesting just to see if I bring this clock up on here and if I reset this and again let's do what we did when I went live uh, to myself in that previous video and I'm going to put my hand up and we'll see what the delay is of me doing it over here to it coming up on the screen below all right so uh, I'm going to go three two one boom pop my hand up and then we'll see how long it takes on that timer before it appears below there we go six seconds so same time as what we had before six seven seconds that's the sort of delay that you're getting. So when I up here and I say on my live and I ask a question to people, um, let's actually click into it. I'll mute this out. And so if somebody watching along on this live on Facebook decides they want to give me some hearts, notice that I'm seeing them coming in at the top. Um, they start laughing at me and I can see those reactions come up. Uh, so again, comments coming in you're going to see uh, the comment will come through into here, but there's a bit of a delay on it. This is kind of it. This is how it works. And then I can appear with branded up our comments. We did this again in a previous video. So now I click here and this comment appears on screen. And then we'll see that, um, and I just remembered actually, I turned that off, didn't I, that little delay. This is really nice. This is how we're working through this. And I mentioned in that preparation video about, you know, having a plan, starting strong, getting straight into it. None of this messing around with, can you hear me? Is that coming through okay? So we get straight into it in this live. We're gonna be talking about this. I'm gonna give you my five top tips on how to do this or three reasons why you know, we start straight off. If you've got nobody in, that's fine. Get used to talking with nobody there. Certainly if you've got a smaller following, don't anticipate people showing up. Don't be thrown out. The worst thing you can be doing is going, oh no, there's nobody watching me. And, and it really kind of throw you off. So expect to talk through as if there's nobody here. Okay, I'm gonna deliver these three points that I've got. If somebody shows up, great, it's a bonus. But if they don't, that's okay. I'm starting out and um, you know we're building this thing up. Maybe next time you promote it better. Yeah, it's all about learning. So going live into Facebook is as easy as that. And uh, when we're done, this is really important. At the end, this finish button down here, when I hit finish down here, it then says end broadcast. So don't think that hitting that button to finish it, you're done and away you can go. Phew, that was fun. You gotta hit end broadcast again and it will properly close down and it will tell you, do you wanna see that recording? Do you want to go to the post over on Facebook? In this case, I'm just hitting okay and I'm done. And that's, we've done, there we go. It's as simple as that to go live to Facebook. Uh, just running through that, making sure you know that you've got your destination set up in advance. So you can go to your personal, to your groups, to your page, and um, you can add multiple of these in as well and just untick them if you wanna take them off. So very easy to play with. And um, we've got this speed down the bottom here that's telling us what our bandwidth is gonna be uploading. So yeah, everything's there. Uh, go have a play with it and um, 
yeah, be interested to hear how you get on with your lives.